Okay, we've started recording. Hi, this is Chris with the Z. That is the. I'm not trying to fuck up all you Americans, but that's just the way it is. That's the way it happened. <laughs> Welcome to beautiful Puerto Vallarta. Look at the sky. Oh, I missed that plane. Anyways, today we're going to talk about boating. Get yeah, down here at the shore. So many boats out there today. This is the beginning of fall in Toronto. And I had a dream to buy a boat. So I bought a 17 foot cutty cattle <laughs> from my best friend, who I thought, who we actually had the same birthday, same hospital. We're like twins, but he was short and runty, and I'm tall and beautiful. I won't say his name, but it's Richard. Anyways, Richard had a boat in the fall. He wanted to sell. He said, okay, Richard, I've been on your boat. I'd like to buy it. So I didn't take it out in the ocean on the lake at that time because, you know, it's winter now. So I actually brought it to the marina. The words I said to the marina, we safety this boat for the next year, okay? I get up early in the springtime and I walk down to get this boat. Everything seems okay. It's about 20 degrees out. <clears throat> but I'm driving and my back is very hot and I'm going, well, it really can't be that freaking hot. I mean, really, I don't know. So I just turned around. Flames. Flames, flames, flames. Everywhere. And it, it's moving really fast. And through research, I discovered fiberglass. It's not a good material for boats because it likes to burn. <coughs> What do I do? No time to get out of the boat. My friend's life jackets are for peeing little wee dudes. So I grab three of them. It's burning fast. It's really burning fast. I jump in the water. Busy on the lake. And uh, this guy comes to get me on a jet ski. And I'm like looking at him. I'm like... This guy is fat and ugly. I have to touch his belly. And your computer's going and going in the head. And you think, what's going on? It's Ron Jeremy. You, you, you're younger, you don't know. Well, this is the king of nasty porn. This guy, fat guy, with little hair and big girls. I touched him. <laughs> he saved my life. All I could think about on the way back to the shore, sitting in a boiling pot of water. My story's not over. I get to the shore. My family's video really recording this disaster and thinking it's not even me. And they said, Chris, if you wanted to go swimming, why didn't you take your clothes off? And I said, Richard, do you see a boat? No. Can you do math? Boat gone, me wet. I almost drowned in your boat. And the next thing I hear from his Nazi father, he's from Germany. Richard, did you get paid for the boat yet? Richard replies, Yes, Dad. Oh, good. Richard, did you keep the insurance on the boat? No. Oh, that, why, why wouldn't you keep the insurance? You know, you don't know. Insurance for boats is cheap ass. It's like 50 cents. So anyways, this boat, I'm not allowed to edit the video, but on my other videos, you'll see the boat. It's going to be sank, like sank. And the fire department was really bored. So they're spraying water on it. I go, dude, you don't need to spray water. It's sank. Well, you don't, sir. Uh, I haven't had anything bad happen here in a long time. This is really, really good. I was actually telling Angela. And, uh, the Ministry of Environment is going to come speak to you and, uh, you know, 
should be careful. <coughs> anyway, so uh, I lost my boat on my first day, and I'm glad I didn't pick up my daughter to go out with me. It was traffic. I uh, didn't boat for another four years after that. And uh, the insurance company didn't want to pay even, you know. I could sue them for a lot of money. I was just suing them for the boat. Well, here we are. My expo explosion with Ron Jeremy and my family didn't give a shit. They thought it would be a good movie for uh, American. Uh, is it American Video? Yeah, they thought that and they entered it and won like $30,000 from it. And I didn't get any. But I did buy a new boat. And enjoy Toronto and if you come here uh, don't bring a car uh, expect everything to take a long time and talk to you later American Canadian talent sorry